Welcome to your tour of Tajima DGML by Pulse version 14. The first thing you'll notice with version 14 is the new interface. One of the great things about this new interface is while the look is different, all the tools and settings that you're used to remain the same. First thing that comes up when we start the program is the Pulse Today screen. It's loaded with great articles has information about documentation for the software and training, a link to live support, and a link to free designs. On the left-hand panel, you can go to File New, File Open, or easily choose from your recent files. When we start a new design, we're presented with a new document window. We can choose a blank design, a wizard that guides us through various questions on settings, we can go directly to import a vector if we have Illustrator Extreme or Maestro. And we can have a favorite settings for startup. Starting with the layout, the first thing to notice is that we have a start tab and a design tab. The start tab is always our startup page. As we open new designs, we receive new tabs on the screen. This makes it easy to switch back and forth from design to design. Let's go ahead and open an existing design. With the existing design, when I click on an element, first thing you'll notice is the properties are right here. They're visible at all times. I see the settings, I understand the values that are applied to a shape, and I can change them at a moment's notice. Another great feature is the multi-select. For example, if I wanted to click on these black lines and I click here, First of all, notice how it brings to the foreground what I have selected. So I have the fill selected. I don't have the details selected. However, if I click again, it finds the next closest object and highlights it for me. That saves me a lot of time when I'm trying to select objects. Looking for my sequence view is as easy as hovering my mouse over the sequence view flyout. Move my mouse away and the flyout disappears. You'll never have to wonder about where your sequence view window is again. Accessing the thread chart is just as easy by hovering over the thread chart flyout. Have you ever wondered what a tool was used for within the software? Click on the tool guide and it will tell you the steps for the tool and how to proceed from start to finish. Your shortcuts list is always just a click away. In the global view makes it very easy to always know where you are within a design. So for example, if I'm zoomed in on this bow, I can see exactly where I am in relation to the entire design. Do you have more than one person using the software? Everyone has their own unique preferences with the software. Location of tools, settings, etc. When a user moves toolbars around or makes adjustments to default settings, you can set a workspace. And with the workspace, you can go ahead and save the workspace, and each person can set the screen, the tools, and their preferences to their exact settings every time they use the software. DrawFusion, which integrates Corel Draw within Tajima DGML, is also included in every level of software. The first step is to launch DrawFusion and open your vector file. All the icons on the screen are Corel Draw icons. Go to File Switch, select any specific settings, hit OK, and the software program processes the vector file and assigns stitch types to the vector objects. This is not auto-digitizing, it is auto-shape recognition. Once the design is on our screen, we need to review it, look for any areas that might need editing, and send to production. In this case, we can edit this little piece here, straighten out the angle line, and add some pull compensation, and we have the shape corrected. DrawFusion is a great way to convert simple designs to embroidery. You can also use it with complex designs. DrawFusion works differently in different levels. In Composer, you'll select the vector, convert it, and do any editing. In your higher digitizing levels, 
you'll be able to select individual components of the artwork, select the stitch types in advance, convert, and then do any editing. DrawFusion will also allow you to take an embroidery design and convert it to vector. Simply click on the settings box and choose OK and the design is vectorized. It may be necessary to utilize some Corel Draw commands to touch up some areas. Imagine the new revenue stream you can create by offering vector files from your embroidery to your customers. Also, make an adjustment in either Corel Draw or in the Tajima software and it automatically updates in the other. For example, in the Tajima software, if I wanted to round this O out just a little bit more, I could make my change in DGML and then convert it back to DrawFusion, update one file or the other, and it will automatically update and keep each other in sync. Please view our other videos for more information.